We have studied cervical disc replacements now for more than 10 years. Our patients that we did the clinical trials with the FDA to compare groups, 200 patients got fusions, 200 patients got artificial discs, and we compared the data. This is called level one FDA clinical data. You can Google that and read about that and figure out what level one data is, but that is the best, most accurate clinical data possible. Similar age group, similar sex, similar symptomatology. So comparing the two outcome groups, you can see clearly with cervical artificial disc replacement, one and two level had superior outcomes to one and two level cervical fusion in every outcome measure. Neck pain scores, arm pain scores, neurologic success, and overall outcomes. All these measurements were not equivalent to fusion, but were statistically superior. And the most important thing for you to understand is remember when you get a fusion done, those discs never move anymore. So there's more stress on the adjacent discs because if you fuse two out of your five, the next disc has to do two or three times as much work. So it tends to wear out faster. So usually between eight to 10 years, these next discs fail. Well, what we showed in the clinical trials was that adjacent level surgeries were half compared to fusion with artificial discs. So it reduces the chance of your need for another surgery by more than 50%. So artificial disc replacement to me is superior in every way and should be considered our first line of defense when you have cervical disc disease.